Hey guys, Dave with Moneyology here. Hope everyone is having a great weekend. This is the weekend market review for the weekend of April 23rd and April 24th, 2018. Hope everyone is having a great weekend. So let's take a look at what's going on in the markets. Uh, starting with the 10 year US Treasury on the daily perspective, uh, this one's fairly clear. The Treasury, 10 year Treasury yield is breaking out. The PPO is very strong here. Uh, and it looks it's it looks like it's going to break out uh, possibly um, above three right now it's uh, closed the week about uh, 2.95 uh, so it's very very close the one thing I'll point out is there's a slight negative divergence here between last time we were at these prices so that's something to look out for but I think overall the strength is there and and the move looks like it's ready to break higher uh, here's what I'm talking about uh, very strong candle here and we um, we're about to cross zero here on the PPO again. Looks like uh, 3.085 might be that next target. But again, slight negative divergence. Is this just a fake out? We'll see. But uh, my my hunch is that things uh, that the 10 year US Treasury Treasury does want to break out above three. Now on the monthly chart here again. Uh, had some consolidation after a bullish flag breakout uh, and 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 so now this 22950 area is very very strong resistance but it looks like it's about to break and that next logical uh, long-term resistance is at 34 3.44 area so which coincides with currently with the 200 month moving average so a lot of upside still uh, in play uh, for the 10-year Treasury and the question is what happens thereafter uh, it's going to be very interesting, interesting to see how the markets react with higher treasuries. Now looking at gold, <clears throat> gold daily here uh, looked like it was making some progress, but I see some consecutive, three consecutive lows on RSI. We closed the week just below uh, the 50 on the RSI level, just uh, below the middle Bollinger Band, just above the 50 day moving average. We might have some downside here. Uh, a lot of people became bullish very quickly. Uh, if for whatever reason gold takes out this 50-day moving average, we might move all the way down towards that 1300 level again um, before kind of seeing what the market wants to do. Looking at the weekly chart, we're, we're having trouble breaking above that 60 RSI level. We're uh, finding support at the 50 RSI level. Uh, right now in the weekly, there's a tremendous amount of support at the Bollinger Band, at the 50 week and the 200 week moving average. I'm not concerned with gold uh, longer term, but in the short run, we may pull back, uh, may not. It's going to be interesting to see what happens this week. Uh, looking at gold on a monthly, it's clear to me that the breakout is indeed in progress. It's consolidating after uh, a major breakout from this downtrend since 2011, this uh, secular downtrend in this or cyclical downtrend in the secular bull market. Uh, that looks like it's going like it's going to break out above that 1400 level sooner rather than later. Now high yield, uh, we pulled back some uh, on on this very nice rally that followed positive divergence, uh, where prices basically uh, were at the same level yet RSI did not follow suit. RSI was much higher, momentum was much higher than it was right over here, and uh, now we pulled back some. Uh, after failing to break out above that 69.70 area. Let's see what happens when the 50 level of RSI is hit. It's going to coincide with the 50 and the middle Bollinger Band on the daily. So I, I expect to see some support there. If it holds, I expect this to, to bounce uh, and probably make a run for, for that 36.60 level uh, before finding more resistance. Um, but longer term, this still looks like a rounding top. So keeping on a very close eye on this one, PPO is moving towards a break above zero. So um, is this going to roll back over? Is PPO going to break uh, break again uh, at, at the zero level to the downside? We shall see. On the, on the monthly, uh, so it looks very constructive. It looks like it pulled back. Um, well, can it break back above that 69 to 70 level? That's going to be uh, a big, big, uh, very important sign to, to let us know what the future direction of high yield and, and really the overall strength of the markets uh, will be. Now oil sector, energy sector is one of the strongest. I've been one of the, the first people in my opinion to, to, to be calling for a very, very nice run in the energy space starting in June of this year. Uh, and, and now we're, we're really starting to take off. Now it's very important that uh, energy breaks above 70 for, for the bullish case here. Why do I say that? Well. 
Um, I say, I say that because even though we're breaking to new highs, momentum is not as strong right now as it was when we were at the 6666 level over here. So it needs to really build some momentum and soon, perhaps a break above that 70 level will do that. If it doesn't do that, uh, then it's possible that they can, this can really uh, pull back and this might be a fake, fake move to the upside. But from a monthly standpoint, this inverse head and shoulders pattern is definitely looking like it wants to break higher. There's tremendous support here. Uh, 50 to 200 EMA on a monthly level as well as the middle Bollinger Band are support to, the, to its downside. And looks like this wants to make a run towards 80 here uh, in a not too distant future. NASDAQ daily. Well, we've been making consecutive uh, lower highs in RSI. Close the week below 50. That's not a positive sign. So uh, it should be interesting to see what happens next week. Can we break above that or is this going to serve as continued resistance lower? Keep an eye on that. On a monthly, on a weekly level, same thing. Uh, consecutive lows in RSI. We may break that soon. And if we do, I expect this to resolve itself to the upside. If we can't and we roll back over here, uh, this could be a nasty sell off in, in, in the works in the coming weeks. Um, on the monthly, we're still in very, very overbought and bullish territory, uh, but PPO is slowly moving towards that zero level. So if that breaks, expect uh, expect uh, a bearish stage in, in just ec overall equity markets. Russell, same thing. Consecutive lower highs on RSI. Should be interesting to see what happens. Um, on a weekly basis, Russell looks actually fairly strong. I mean, if you draw this line, it looks like uh, RSI has already broken this uh, this downtrend here and there's a lot of support here below it uh, and uh, it needs to take out that 1615 level to confirm uh, more upside ahead in the Russell. Russell monthly looks like it wants to break back above the 69 level and if it does uh, <clears throat> probable next price target is at 1700 level which would be significantly higher from where we are today. S&P kind of acting weak. It's actually been the weakest of the three indices in, from a technical standpoint this year. So it should be interesting to see how this one plays out. Uh, on a weekly standpoint, we're, we're barely hovering above the 50 level, but we are there. So if we can continue to build strength here above the 50 on the weekly RSI, that'll be a construct, constructive. A couple more charts here. Uh, the monthly looks like it wants to curl back above the 6970 level. If it does, uh, very positive for the S&P, but the PPO continues to curl uh, towards a break below zero. Does it break below zero or does it curl back up higher? That'll be a very important tell towards uh, the next basically six to 12 months. The US dollar, one of the reasons gold has been weak is the US dollar has been basing and acting very much stronger. We closed the week above the 50 day moving average and I, I, I expect now uh, for us to make a run towards the 92 level which coincides with that 200 uh, EMA resistance there. But we closed above um, multiple levels, uh, multiple tops on RSI here uh, with positive divergence and we're above the 50 RSI level so that's positive. Uh, on the weekly, <clears throat> looks like we want to make a run towards that 50 RSI level which likely coincides with this crucial. 92 area of resistance so that's going to be very interesting to see what happens once we do tag that on the monthly it's still very bearish i don't see any reason to for optimism um, but definitely not a place you want to be short at this point in time the volatility index uh, it looks like it's it wants to bounce it wants to bounce and possibly rally as high as 2022 50 maybe um, so going to be keeping a close eye on the vix uh, we had a strong rally uh, uh, on the weekly 200 off of the weekly 200 EMA and the 50 EMA, uh, and probably in the next couple of weeks, the 50 EMA crosses, which would be uh, one of those golden crosses, uh, doesn't mean much, but definitely something to watch. Um, so no surprise we bounced here, but question is, can we continue that bounce, or is this just gonna peter out and and kind of head lower? PPO is now below zero. On a monthly basis, looks like we want to move lower uh, in the short run, maybe test that 50 level. So um, some some indecision on the VIX. Uh, on the world markets weekly chart, uh, like the S&P, it looks a little weak here, uh, but um, 
but it still looks like it, it wants to rally. So my, my uneducated opinion is that uh, we're probably, the likelihood is there's going to be more upside before uh, more correction in the coming weeks ahead. On a monthly basis, we're finding support at that 60 level. We had a nice, uh, nice pullback here, but I think ultimately we might make a run towards a 2400 level before this uh, final run is over with. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Let us know what you think, and uh, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash moneyology to uh, pledge your support. Anything helps, and uh, we count on you for our, uh, for our support. So we really appreciate it. One, five, ten dollar, twenty-five dollar pledges will go a long way towards helping us make better quality videos more often for you. Thank you, and have a great week. Take care.